Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a minute about chain stitch embroidery thread. This is called a color card and it has all of the samples from this particular company inside so that you can take this and match it to things that you want to make or do if you want to see the real colors that are available. I've taken to outlining the number <laughs> to let me know I have that one so that way I don't rebuy it or I look for it in my colors if I'm looking for this shade in particular. Now the most popular one widely used quickly available in the USA is Bermelana and Bermelana Co and this is from a company called Madeira. It's manufactured in Germany and then there's a few warehouses in the USA that distribute it. Now this stuff is really good because of the reliability of the strength of the thread and the thickness of it. So the difference here of the two different types is that one of them is a 50% wool, 50% acrylic. And then down here we have 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. That's Bermelana versus Bermelana Co. Cotton. Um, this one's a little bit more expensive. This one is cheaper. I personally do not know why you would choose one over the other. Maybe as a textile person you could tell me in the comments why would somebody want wool over cotton. And maybe this is more expensive just because it has wool. I don't know and it's more more expensive than cotton <laughs> but the acrylic I don't know okay so you open this up and then you can see all of the colors that are available to you I'm gonna open this up and then stretch it out okay kinda of feels like Home Depot paint rack where you could get all the samples so one thing that's really cool about this is that you can find some paper that you want to match or, you know, you tuck it back here and you can compare it against the color. That's really cool. Like, oh, I want something to match my skin tone. What am I? This pink? Something like that. So, there's tons of colors in here. You can actually see what they look like. You can chart the ones that you have. You can search for the ones that you don't have because the pictures online are not that reliable. But just coming into this, you're going to want to get some to play with to figure out what you want to do. So I've been playing with Bermelana Co, the cotton blend. You can see I've squared out a lot more of these. <laughs> Those are the colors that I have. Plus those colors. I don't know why they're not in here. It's an old color card or something. So, this stuff you can get quickly. You have a lot of color options. You can see a decent picture online, but you're not going to get the exactly exact shade. But, I want to show you the difference between Bermelana and another brand that's widely available. And you might like one or the other for whatever reason. So I will show you the pros and cons of both. So this spool here is called Tex 15 and it's available on eBay and in a lot of colors. You could also buy a color card from them, but I believe it's like 15 or $30 to get a sample like I just showed you of their whole color system. Um, I bought theirs before I bought any others and it's nice. It's pretty reliable but sometimes it'll break and sometimes the dyeing process might uh, weaken different parts of the thread and cause it to break easier in certain areas like a rainbow thread that I have you know that could break easily and then I have a tan colored thread that breaks every 5-10 seconds of using it and I have to re-thread the machine over and over again because it breaks so you know, that sucked, and I don't think all of them do that. I've been using a different color, and it's just going flawlessly. I've been sewing a whole bunch of stuff with it today. This is the Bermelana, made in Germany, 
and then the Tex-15 made in India. So there's different textures within these threads and the major difference between these are the thickness and wooliness. I don't remember what Tex-15 is made with, but it's very hairy, like yarn yarn, while this one is more like string yarn hybrid baby. So if you want things with thicker, quicker fill, and you want to get things done in a timely manner, and you want to just lay it all out like a paint bucket, maybe Tex-15 will be your choice. But if you want to do tight areas, tricky spaces, and you want to just seamlessly go on and on, then Madeira is good for you. Burmilana. And that thread weight is 12. Tex thread weight, uh, it's Tex 15, but Tex has its own complete different thread weight system, which I don't understand. So, you know, if you look at it, it's maybe, <laughs> maybe... It's a 15, and that's what makes it a tiny bit thicker than the 12. But, you know, I just made that up. So, um, we could do a little bit of a break test. I don't know that this is going to be good or know what I'm doing right now. But let's break it. Okay. Ooh, put them together, and they're strong. Okay, so one thing that you can see is that there's a lot more hair on the purple one, the Tex-15, which goes towards the idea of it being more wooly as a texture versus the other one that's more stringy, and it had a very clean break with little hair, while this one breaks like yarn yarn. Now let's see it by itself. It's easier to break, this one. And that's fine, it's okay, it's very usable. These are the basics. They're the best thread weight to get as much done as possible. And um, the other option that is widely used is rayon. Rayon is more expensive than these types of yarny threads. And it is shiny, plus, it has a flossy look to it. So um, sometimes if you're working and the needle runs over a loop, oh, Ant, get out of here, and the thread runs over a loop, it may stab your line and then bring up a flossy texture, which you got to figure out how to hide. But look, it's really strong. Ow. This hurts. <laughs> it's strong, but it's flossy like dental floss a little bit. So this is good stuff. It's more expensive. Um, but maybe it's best for things that you don't load up a lot of color, you know? Like, for example, it would be better for the black lines rather than the white fill because you're not running over it as much. It's hard to explain, but... There's those. And then you could use basic thread, which is 40 weight. And that's just normal uh, sewing thread. Let's see if I can find a spool around here to show you. Nope. I don't know where it is. And then there's this, which is metallic. Metallics, I don't think that they make them in different thicknesses, but... They have been traditionally used in chain stitch embroidery. It is like hair. It's very thin. And you can use this just as it is, and you can make really thin lines with it. Or you could use double or triple, have two or three of these set up, and then you end up with a line like that thick. You know, versus that thick and then you can get more coverage like that I haven't used this a lot but the person who owned my machine before me used it a lot 
in their manufacturing business for like schools and stuff like that. So as a company, they did a whole lot of metallics and ended up wearing down the machine because of the metal in the thread, which is hardly even detectable. That metal rubbed on my metal machine and then it wore a hole in my looper and it stretched it out and it almost broke off my looper because of all that metallic thread. That caused a lot of problems. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you different textures and types and let you know that there's also a company called Mauser located in India. They sell affordable machines as well and reliable because so many people have gotten them and loved them and I would have gotten a Mauser had I not found my singer for really cheap right during pandemic time. So it was a really crazy happenstance, but it worked out. So try Mauser. Let me know how it goes. Maybe you can compare it in the comments to one of these textures or thicknesses and let me know for yourself how you feel about it. But that's just a basic outline of Bermelana, Bermelana Co., Tex 15, and uh, yeah, it's really good stuff. This one, the Tex 15, it's $30 shipping from India. So you have to kind of commit to an order with them, and you want to get a lot at one time, even though you don't know how much you love the colors. And even if you just wanted to buy the color card and find out the colors that you like, you're still going to have to pay that $30 shipping just to get it over to you. So, uh, you know, you decide. Do you want to get this from Madeira.com or do you want to get it from, I think it's called like Northwest Trading or Northwest Textiles, I believe. Um, that's where I got it from. It was quick and fast and easy. So, they have their, their pros and cons and their uses. So thanks for watching my nonsense. That's general thread info.